Saying What You Mean, a children's book about communication. You are a communicator. <laughs> communication is exchanging or passing along feelings, thoughts, or information. A communicator is one who exchanges or passes along feelings, thoughts, or information. Sometimes you use your head to communicate. Yes. No. Sometimes you use your face to communicate. I'm happy. I'm sad. <laughs> your face can communicate. I'm mad. I'm annoyed and frustrated. Your face can communicate. I'm thinking. I'm confused. Your face can communicate. I'm surprised. <gasps> I'm worried. Your face can communicate. I'm scared. I'm disappointed. Sometimes you use your hands to say no. Okay. Your hands can say I hope so too. Your hands can say shh. That's too loud. I can't hear. Sometimes you use your arms and hands to communicate. Hello and goodbye. Over there, your arms and hands can say you, me. Your arms and hands can say give it to me, take it. Your arms and hands can say come here. Stay away. Your arms and hands can say, "I don't know." I won. Your arms and hands can say, "You did a good job." I liked what you did. Let's be friends. Sometimes your whole body can communicate. I love you. Aww. I hate you. Your body can say. I'm shy. Leave me alone. I feel rejected and alone. Your body can say, "I'm confident. I know I can do it. I'm proud of myself. I like the things I do." Sometimes you communicate through art. Sometimes you communicate through music. Sometimes you communicate by dancing. Sometimes you communicate by writing. Sometimes you communicate through drama. Help! Help me! Talking is another way you communicate. When you talk, you use words. Sometimes you need only one word to communicate. Words like hello, yes, no, stop, go, wait, okay, look, please. Thanks, sorry, and don't are sometimes all you need to communicate everything you want to communicate. At other times, you need more than one word to communicate. What you do with words, how you put them together, and how you say them makes them a form of communication. The same words can communicate different messages. You're something else. You're something else. The meaning you give to words depends upon many things, such as how softly or how loudly you say them. I think you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Oh, stop it! You're embarrassing me. My sister got sick and threw up in the car last night, and you know what happened then? Oh, stop it! You're embarrassing me. The meaning you give to words depends upon how slow or how fast you say them. Watch out! There's a can of paint on top of that ladder. Watch out! There's a can of paint on top of that ladder. The meaning you give to words depends upon how kindly. Or how unkindly you say them. You look different in your new glasses. You look different in your new glasses. 
the meaning you give to words depends upon how sincerely or how insincerely you say them. That's a nice picture, Kim. That's a nice picture. The meaning you give to words depends upon how confidently or how timidly you say them. Do you think you can do it? Yes. Do you think you can do it? Yes. The meaning you give to words depends upon how enthusiastically or how unenthusiastically you say them. I like it. I like it. The meaning you give to words depends upon what you are doing when you say them. Ha ha, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Sometimes you want to communicate to someone how you feel. I'm lonely, Dad. Sometimes you want to communicate to someone what you think. I thought it would be a good idea for us to start a clubhouse. Sometimes you want to communicate to someone what you want. Sometimes you want to communicate to someone what you need. I'm thirsty, Mom. I need a drink of water. Sometimes you want to communicate to someone your hopes and dreams. When I grow up, I want to be a famous movie star. Sometimes you want to communicate to someone facts and information. Did you know that it's approximately 10 miles from my house to your house? I clocked it on my bike. If you want to communicate important things like how you feel, what you think, what you want, what you need, your hopes and dreams, or facts and information, you need to do several things. To begin with, important things need to be communicated at the right time. It is not the right time to communicate important things if you are too busy to think about what you are saying or if the person you want to communicate with is too busy to think about what you are saying. Did you want to talk to me now? Not now, Mom. I'm putting my model together. Mother, I want to talk to you right now. You need to wait for a time when you can communicate. Mom, I'm not busy now. Can you talk? You need to wait for a time when the person you want to communicate with can listen. And then, I'm not busy. I can talk to you now. Communicate. Second, important things need to be communicated to the right people. People who are not interested in you are not the right people to whom you should communicate important things. People who are not interested in what you are saying are not the right people to whom you should communicate important things. I really don't care. You need to find someone who is interested in you. You need to find someone who is interested in what you have to say and then communicate. Third, important things need to be communicated accurately and honestly. This boy's communication is accurate and honest. That looks fun. I wish I could play. This boy's communication is not accurate and honest. I don't want to play with you guys. What you're doing is dumb. This girl's communication is accurate and honest. I wish mother would pay more attention to me. This girl's communication is not accurate and honest. I hate babies. They cry too much. This boy's communication is accurate and honest. I hope the teacher will like my picture and hang it up on the wall. This boy's communication is not accurate and honest. You probably don't like my picture because it's not very good. Only when you communicate accurately and honestly can people know and understand what you want them to know and understand. Only when you communicate accurately and honestly 
can people respond accurately and honestly to you? Before you communicate, think about what you are going to say. Can I play too? Sure. Then say it as accurately and honestly as you can. When you pay so much attention to the baby, I feel jealous. Could you pay some attention to me? I understand how you feel. Of course I can pay some attention to you. I hope you like my picture. I did the best I could. This is nice. Let's hang it on the wall. You are a communicator. You communicate every day with everyone around you. When you communicate important things, remember to communicate at the right time, communicate to the right people, We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. and communicate accurately and honestly. Good communication will help you get along with other people. It can make your life happier. Good communication all depends on how well you say what you mean.